I hope you have watched my previous video about the LED clock with DS3231RTC module. I was planning to make a big LED clock with rotary encoder. However, once the project is completed, it was noted that the LED takes more current and the provided transistors are not powerful. In order to solve that issue we have to use separate transistors for each segments of SSDs. If you use such, you may have to use more than 50 transistors. The project will be complicated. Therefore, I decided to reduce the number of LEDs and rebuild the project with same RTC module. This is the first part of that project. Stay with set and fix. I used red LEDs as it take lower current and the voltage comparing to other LEDs. Moreover, I reduced the LED count for a segment as 4 LEDs. The wiring of SSDs using LEDs are as same as the previous. As your favor, you can use common anode or common cathode SSDs. However, I am using common anode SSDs. You can see the circuit diagram for this new project. The biggest change of the circuit is, I have used only NPN transistors for the both anode and cathodes of LEDs. I think you can understand how the wiring is used of transistors for the SSDs. I expected to reduce the complication of the circuit and reducing the cost as well. As usually once all the LEDs are set, the you have to check the LEDs that all the LEDs are wired correctly and also I checked the LEDs after connecting transistors as well. However, it is not much necessary. All the other parts can be wired as same as previous project and you can follow the diagram. Once the wiring diagram is completed, you can test the SSDs using the test code given here. I was unable to make a video in last few weeks due to few reasons. Sorry for that delay. However, I will complete this project within this week. Until then, stay with set and fix.